Hello everyone. Welcome to this short demonstration from Mount Kenya University Library. In this session, I'm going to show you how you can easily set up MyLoft on your Android device so that you can be able to start accessing e-resources from the university library. Now, to get started, make sure that your Android or phone device is connected to the internet and we can get started. Now, simply click on Play Store to open the application. Then we are going to be able to start searching for the MyLoft app. Once it opens like that, simply click on search. Then up here in the search section, type MyLoft to start searching for the application. Then next we are going to click on install so that we can start downloading and installing the application on our phone. Once the download and the installation is complete, simply click on open to open the application and start using it. The first thing that you will be asked is to identify the name of your institution. In this case, we are going to type MKU and we will see the name Mount Kenya University appearing. Next, we will select this name Mount Kenya University. Then it is going to take us to the login screen for Mount Kenya University. Next, in this section, simply click on the button that says login with MKU SSO as shown on the screen. And next, it is going to ask us to provide our email. In this case, we need to provide our corporate MKU emails. This applies for both members of staff and students. So I'm going to provide my email and next I will be able to provide the password after clicking on next. Now because this is displaying the password on the screen, I am going to hide it off so that I can key in the password without displaying it on the screen. So I have entered my password, then I'm going to click on sign in to proceed. Now this is my personal device, so it is okay if I click on don't show again and yes, so that next time I try to access the platform, it will not ask me to log in. So if the login was successful, it is going to redirect me back to my loft platform. So here we have successfully logged into the platform and there will be a number of pop-ups, but you can simply click on skip to proceed. Now, the next thing that we need to do is to disable private DNS in our settings. That is what this orange section is informing us. So, simply click on add config and it is going to take you to your device settings. Remember the name of the setting that we are looking for is private DNS. Well, this has not displayed, but I can demonstrate that. If I go to my settings, then connections, then more connection settings, you can see here we have private DNS. If you open it, you need to make sure that this is set to off. Then click on save. When you've finished, you can go back to my loft platform. Now, this is how the platform will look like the first time after you have successfully set it up. On top here, you can see we have items or publishers that are recommended by the university library. The number of items recommended by the library should be around 10. If I click on show, we should be able to see all of them. Yes, these are 10. Now, the first four publishers on this list are for ebooks. Then LexisNexis, Hain Online, and Kenya Law Review are for students taking law. Then EBSCOhost is a general purpose publisher. And then lastly, in this section, we have past papers. Now, you need to bear in mind that the university has subscribed to about 40 online publishers. So how do you see the rest of those publishers on this system? Down here at the bottom of the screen in the middle, there is this icon. You need to click on it so that it displays the entire list of online publishers. So this is the entire list of online publishers that the university library has subscribed to. 
and if you're paying attention you can see that this list is arranged alphabetically so in the next videos that will follow this i'm going to demonstrate how you can be able to make use of these publishers and how you can be able to search for materials and download them and make use of them in your studies so at this point i would like to come to the end of this demonstration and thank you for watching.